well, in today's video I am going to talk about tattoo TV shows yet again. Here we are, again, <laughs> history repeats itself. Uh, no, but this is more in a positive light, thank god, hallelujah at last. A TV channel called Vice come out with a TV show called Needles and Pins. It's hosted by Grace Neutral. If you don't know who Grace Neutral is, oh my gosh, but Grace Neutral is a stick and poke tattoo artist here in the UK. Um, she actually used to work in a tattoo studio near me. Um, I've seen her once in my whole entire life. <laughs> um, I was getting my thigh tattoo done I think at the time, one of my thigh tattoos done at the time and she walked in. Uh, to the tattoo studio I was getting tattooed at and I was like well she's so pretty and then I think it was like uh, maybe a couple of weeks later or a couple of months later I saw a picture of her on Tumblr um, someone reblogged it that I followed or what have you I was like oh my gosh I've seen her before and anyway she's now like a big deal which is so cool um, but yeah the TV show is presented by Grace Neutral she's sort of gone around the world not around the world but gone to many places within the world and interviewed tattoo wise interviewed um, tattooed people stuff like that like really getting in to not getting into people's lives that sounds a bit invasive but she's just asking all the right questions she's not judgmental at all i'm not going to give you away of the tv show in case you guys want to watch it i'm not going to do any spoilers or i'm not going to talk too in depth about the tv show just more of the style of it it's beautifully shot it's creative but it's not too creative where it's unwatchable and it's just like oh my god this looks like a jacked up youtube video it's much more than that it's beautifully shot grace's delivery is oh it's just perfect it's she asks all the right questions, um, but it's not judgmental. So she asks questions that could maybe be seen as judgmental, but it's not because, you know, she's all about the tattoo lifestyle, obviously. Like, she's covered in tattoos, scarification, like, she's about that life. She would never judge someone for having a, a strange tattoo or being tattooed for whatever reason. So she asks all the right questions, for sure. Um, it doesn't come across judgmental at all. It's just... It's so refreshing because as you guys know I have issues with most tattoo TV shows that are on TV. I'm not a tattoo artist so I don't really have the right to be pissed off. Um, but as a tattoo enthusiast it just gives the wrong message. Just it gives the wrong message. I mean you guys know what TV show I'm talking about in particular. <laughs> like, I don't want to give it much mention but yeah so D Needles and Pins has been a roller coaster, and I hope there's maybe more in the future. So yeah I really did want to talk about that and I people have asked me to make a video on it and my thoughts and my views and yeah honestly it's just like a breath of fresh air I love it so much I've watched Grace Neutral's um videos on YouTube when she did some more things um with Vice I think it was uh I can't remember the name of it but something Japan <laughs> something like that and um that was beautifully shot also and it's very very interesting like the whole needles and pins TV show is just so interesting like I've learned a few things and it's cool to hear tattoo artist side of things and it's cool to hear um, like the client side of things or people that are tattoo side of things it's really cool it's just interesting you know it's what the tattoo industry needed it's so good and um, I highly recommend you watch it if you can get hold of it I watched it online so that is a cool thing that's happened recently within the tattoo TV community the TV show that shan't be named is still running I think I'm not sure I'm I've sort of just given up on that thing like it's gonna run people like it for whatever reason and so be it you know if it's people's entertainment so be it whatever just I hope people don't take it seriously you know um but there's another tv show that has caught my eye well actually no a girl I work with Colette hi Colette if you're watching <laughs> um she mentioned this tv show to me and I forgot what it's called now already oh god what is it called it's on mtv I forgot what it's fucking called what's it called I'll flag it up here. So yeah, anyway, the girl I work with, Claire, she mentioned it and I was just like distraught. Like I was just traumatised by what she was telling me about this TV show. But it's basically about um, people designing tattoos for other people and they can't see it until it's done or what have you. Something ridiculous like that. And it's all just like a big laugh. And the way the trailer is edited is just like repulsive to me. It's like, it's a whole big laugh. Getting a tattoo is a big laugh. It's a big joke. And like, it doesn't matter. This person's scarred for life with this crappy tattoo. If it is crap or if it's badly drawn or what have you. It doesn't matter because, you know, it's all for TV. It's, and it's all these like reality TV stars that are in it. These D-listers or Z-listers, whatever you want to fucking call them. I don't fucking care. Um, and it's just... Oh, the trailer pisses me off, man. It's all like, oh, why would you do that? The tattoo industry 
isn't about that. It's not about that. It's not about getting a joke. I mean, yeah, people get like funny tattoos, not safe for work tattoos, but that's through choice, do you know what I mean? But these TV shows give the tattoo industry such a bad reputation. Like, this is why we can't have nice things, because people think people with tattoos are irresponsible. They do it, you know, because it's a fashion statement, or it's a laugh, or it's a joke, or it's a rebellious thing. And it's not. But these TV shows are proving otherwise by saying, oh look, we're going to put a bunch of celebrities, celebrities, on TV and they're going to choose each other's tattoos and they're going to be funny or they're going to be rude or they're going to be crap. And people see that on TV and they're going to think everyone with a tattoo is like that and it's not the case. Like there's a lot of us, you guys, me also, that take this stuff seriously and I'm sure people are going to tell me to like lighten up or what have you but I have a good sense of humour but when it comes to stuff like this it's just like oh, for fuck's sake like we are coming so far with in the tattoo world because they're a lot more accepted, employers are accepting them a lot more um, you don't really hear much about tattoo discrimination anymore obviously it's still a thing but it's not that much of a th thing anymore you know you can have jobs with tattoos but then you get these fucking asshole shows where they're just like oh yeah tattoos are a big laugh oh it's a big joke like yeah nobody takes them seriously yeah it's like a big game it's just ugh. but yeah obviously i will not be watching that tv show it will infuriate me it will make me so mad i'm not even sure who the tattoo artists are on on this tv show um i don't really care either i'm not i'm just I'm done. Like, when I saw Needles and Pins, I thought, yes, here we go. Finally, tattoo TV shows are improving. They're more intellectual. They're more factual. They're not full of arseholes doing arsehole thing. You know, I was so grateful for Needles and Pins. Just, ugh. And then this fucking MTV show has come along and ruining everything I just don't it pisses me off clearly I, I shouldn't take stuff like this so seriously but it's something that obviously I'm very passionate about <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell or what have you but it's very frustrating it's not even come out yet and if I'm gonna get hate for bashing it when I haven't even watched an episode go fuck yourself I don't need to watch an episode to know that it's shit all right I don't need to watch an episode I know what it's about it's all about joking and laughing about a tattoo that you're stuck with for life and oh, I don't need to witness it. I do not. I am not witnessing it. I am not ingesting it. But yeah, so massive shout out to Grace Neutral and the team that worked behind Needles and Pins. Just fantastic, beautiful. Um, and then this other new TV show that's just cool. Whatever. Fuck you. Just whoever made it, fuck you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> it's just, oh, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. A lot of you guys have asked me on my live stream, like, if you watch Needles and Pins, what you thought about it? And every time someone's asked me, I haven't watched every episode, but I've watched every episode as of yet. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Again, I didn't want to give anything away or anything. I just wanted to talk about, you know, it's very much worth watching. It is. It's, it's me approved. It's Lauren approved. <laughs> Not that my opinion matters that much or anything, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing very well. Comment down below your views and opinions on this tattoo TV show stuff. Until my next video, I hope you guys are all doing very well and until then, bye!